Dear students, now we are going to discuss the effect of negative feedback. It is also known as performance measures of negative feedback or properties of negative feedback. Improved stability, reduction in gain or gain desensitivity, reduction in distortion, noise reduction, bandwidth extension, increased input resistance and decreased output resistance. So, these all are the properties of negative feedback. So, in this lecture video, we are going to cover the first four properties with its proof. Okay. Let's start with this improved stability. This is the basic structure of negative feedback amplifier. Vs is the source input signal. Vi is the actual input to this amplifier. Vf is the feedback signal. V0 is the output signal. A is the gain of this amplifier. Beta is the feedback factor. Here this Vi is equal to what? Vs minus Vf. Correct? So here the gain of the amplifier with feedback is given as Af is equal to A by 1 plus A beta for negative feedback. Okay. Here A is the gain without feedback. Beta is the feedback gain. And 1 plus A beta is the desensitivity factor. In this negative feedback amplifier, if A beta is far greater than 1, then the desensitivity factor becomes A beta. That means 1 plus A beta is equal to A beta because 1 is negligible when compared with this A beta. Therefore, the gain of that negative feedback amplifier AF is equal to A by 1 plus A beta can be written as A by A beta. So here AA divided then we can get 1 by beta itself. If A beta is far greater than 1, the gain of that negative feedback amplifier AF is equal to 1 by beta. Thus the gain AF depends only on the feedback factor beta. Correct? That means the gain is not affected by the temperature variations in transistor parameters and frequency. So it is independent of temperature, transistor parameters and frequency. Therefore, the gain of the feedback amplifier is extremely stable in case of negative feedback. Next property is desensitivity of gain or reduction in forward gain. So in this property, we are going to discuss how much gain is getting reduced due to negative feedback. Okay, that means the effect of feedback on gain of that amplifier. For that we can consider gain of the amplifier with feedback AF is equal to A by 1 plus A beta. This is the general formula of negative feedback. So next we are going to take log on both sides. Here it is log AF is equal to log A. The division can be written in terms of subtraction for log. So here log AF is equal to log A minus log of 1 plus A beta. So the next step to differentiate on both sides. So differentiation of log AF is equal to what? DAF by AF that is equal to log A. That is the differentiation of log A is DA by A minus. Here we can differentiate with respect to this A. So here we can take this beta as a constant. So beta into dA divided by 1 plus A beta. So next step we are going to take this dA by A as a common term from this right hand side. Here we are having only this dA. For that we can multiply and divide by this A. Then we can get dA by A minus here dA by A. We can take the term as a common one here. DAF by AF is equal to DA by A. Then this term becomes 1 minus here we are having A and beta. So A beta divided by 1 plus A beta. Okay. Next we can simplify this term. So here it is 1 plus A beta minus A beta divided by 1 plus A beta. Here it is cancelled. Then we can get the value as DA by A 1 divided by 1 plus A beta. 
Okay, do you all understand? This is very, very important one. Here, this DAF by AF, that is nothing but the fractional change in amplification with feedback. Here, DA by A means fractional change in amplification without feedback. These two are very important. If you are going to move this DA by A to this left hand side, we can get the ratio of fractional change in amplification with feedback to the without feedback value that is nothing but sensitivity factor. Do you all understand? So next step we are going to move this value to this. This ratio is represented as sensitivity factor that is equal to the ratio of fractional change in amplification with feedback to without feedback. That is equal to 1 by 1 plus A beta. The reciprocal of the sensitivity factor is known as desensitivity factor. Simply we can reciprocate that. Then we can get the desensitivity factor is equal to dA by A by daF by AF is equal to this sign. The reciprocal of this value is 1 plus A beta. Do you all understand this? So the stability of the amplifier increases with increase in desensitivity factor. That's what we discussed in the previous property. So whenever this 1 plus A beta value is greater than 1, then we can get that AF value is equal to 1 by beta. Okay. Here the closed loop gain AF is reduced by the factor 1 plus A beta. As we know that AF is equal to what? The gain of the amplifier without feedback divided by 1 plus A beta. So negative feedback amplifier is reduced from open loop gain by the factor 1 plus A beta. Do you all understand? Next property is reduction in distortion. So in this we are going to discuss the effect of negative feedback in distortion reduction. Okay. So for that first we can consider open loop amplifier a normal one. So here we are giving input to this amplifier. We can get the output with the distortion D. So this is the normal amplifier without feedback. Here A represents open loop gain without feedback. D represents the total harmonic distortion without feedback. Okay. So any amplifier it is having some initial distortion. Okay. So next we are going to introduce the negative feedback concept. Due to the introduction of this negative feedback with the factor beta, that is the gain of this feedback network, then the distortion is reduced by the factor 1 plus A beta. So by introducing this negative feedback to this amplifier, the distortion can be reduced. Okay, how much? 1 plus A beta times. So here the new distortion is represented as df or d dash. This d dash value is equal to d by 1 plus a beta. So we are going to prove this one. Okay. So for that you have to remember this diagram. Here vi is the input signal to this amplifier. This is the output v0 with the new distortion d dash. So this can be obtained by taking the portion of this previous output D. Correct? So that is X into D to this feedback network. Then we can get beta multiplied with this XD as that input to this amplifier. Do you all understand this diagram? So, okay. So here we have to assume that D dash is equal to X times the D. So then we can get the value of this D dash from the diagram. That is equal to D minus, that is the previous distortion without feedback, minus A beta XD. Because we can give this distortion value to this amplifier, then we can get A beta into XD. Correct? So that's what given here. D dash is equal to D minus A beta XD. As we know that D dash is nothing but post X into D. Then this XD is replaced with the term D dash. We can move this term to that next side as a plus. So D dash is a common value. We can take it outside. Then we can have 1 plus A beta that is equal to D. In the next step, we can move this value to this right hand side. Finally, D dash is equal to D by 1 plus A beta. Thus, the distortion produced in the output is reduced by the factor 1 plus A beta. 
okay so the next one is noise reduction for that we can consider that amplifier circuit without feedback here assume that the noise is introduced at the input of amplifier so here we can give the input voltage to this amplifier and we can get that output voltage here this noise is introduced at the input side here assume that the noise is introduced at the input of the amplifier so here vs is the source input signal given to this amplifier v0 is the amplified output signal a1 is the gain of this amplifier as vn represents the noise signal signal to noise ratio is represented as s to n is equal to output by the noise the output signal is v0 here the noise signal is vn the signal to noise ratio should always be greater to get the better performance of the amplifier the negative feedback is used to reduce the noise in an amplifier circuit by increasing the signal to noise ratio okay we are going to increase the signal to noise ratio that means we are going to reduce this vn by reducing or decreasing it we can increase the signal to noise ratio that is the concept here for that we are going to introduce one more amplifier okay in this amplifier circuit so now two amplifier circuits are cascaded from this diagram the output signal can be obtained as v not that is equal to this vf that is the feedback signal given to this a2 amplifier that is an additional amplifier vs is directly given to this a2 the output of this amplifier is given to this a1 as input noise is introduced in this stage there is no noise signal in this amplifier okay you have to understand this the noise is introduced in this one because we are going to reduce this noise signal by adding more number of amplifiers okay here the output signal v0 is equal to this vs is multiplied with this a1 and a2 correct so here we can get a1 a2 vs this is the minus negative feedback means minus this vf is also multiplied with this a1 and a2 we can get a1 a2 sorry there is no beta vf okay so here vs into a1 a2 minus vf into a1 a2 then plus vn into a1 that is the output voltage from that we can write that value as v0 is equal to a1 a2 vs minus a1 a2 vf plus vn a1 as we know that the feedback signal is equal to beta multiplied with that output voltage so here we can replace this vf with the value beta into v0 okay so here we can move this v0 term into this left hand side as plus so v0 plus a1 a2 beta v0 is equal to a1 a2 vs plus vn a1 then we can take this v0 as a common one 1 plus a1 a2 beta that is equal to a1 a2 vs plus v1 a1 then we can move this value to this right hand side then v0 is equal to a1 a2 vs by 1 plus a1 a2 beta plus vn a1 by 1 plus a1 a2 beta then we can take this a1 a2 by 1 plus a1 a2 beta as a common term here then we can get vs plus vn by a2 so now this noise signal is reduced by the factor a2 that is the gain of an additional amplifier do you all understand this so this is the signal value this is the noise value okay this is signal and this one is the noise value from this we come to know that the noise signal is reduced by the gain of that additional amplifier thus the overall noise of the two stage amplifier is reduced by the factor a2 if we are going to find out the value of signal to noise ratio we are going to take the ratio of this signal to this noise then this value is cancel here a1 and a1 is cancel right then we can get vs is multiplied with the ca2 by vn so the signal to noise ratio is multiplied with this gain so it is increased signal to noise ratio is increased by reducing the noise voltage do you all understand if you are going to introduce one more amplifier three stage means this noise signal is reduced by 
the factor A2 into A3. It is going on. By increasing the number of amplifiers, we can reduce more amount of noise.